Hi, kitty cats. I went to my first follow-up appointment after gender-affirming surgery yesterday. It's been two weeks since the surgery and I wanted to report on the progress of my bottom surgery. So I get there and I'm led to a room with an exam table that has stirrups. Now, part of me expected it, but frankly, I was scared because I've been trying not to move this all around and now I have to hop up on a table and... But fortunately, my wife was there and held my hand. Thanks, honey. So the surgeon comes in and incidentally, he told me he'd watched my videos about the surgery on YouTube and he starts looking around. So there's a bit of separation in the stitches around the surgical site because he made something like a W with two stems with stitches and one side has separated right in the center. Now this is very common with any surgery and the body heals around it naturally, but the surgeon noted it to tell me not to worry about it. So next up is checking the urethra and inside the inner labia because a possible complication of the surgery is for the reconstructed exit for the urethra to heal closed, especially in the case of an infection. And it's part of why the typical recovery protocol includes a week with a catheter. Now I have been watching how I pee like a hawk, just in case. And the surgeon confirmed healing was going well. So that was the end of his examination for bottom surgery. Now on a side note, a couple of days ago during my morning cleaning routine, I thought I would just check and see how sensation is returning to the reconstructed tissues. So I ran my fingers lightly across the outside and then the inside and then I lightly touched the clitoris. So it appears the nerves are certainly reconnected and this at only two weeks. I'm excited to see the progress that occurs in another two weeks. And as a final ancillary thought, it struck me as I've been feeling so protective of this surgical site, I would have been expected to dilate for a week now if I'd gotten a full depth procedure. Given how gingerly I've been sitting and showering and applying the antibacterial schmutz, I can't even conceive of holding an instrument inside there three times a day. My hat is off to you sisters capable of pulling it off. For me, however, I have absolutely no regrets on deciding not to get a full depth procedure. I'm very pleased with where things have gone so far, and I'll report back when I have my next follow-up appointment next week. But the summary, I got normal healing going on, and things look good in two weeks. So, talk soon. Bye.